Hello everyone and welcome to Cricket Shot. In this video, I'm going to analyze about India's overseas tour of Australia and New Zealand. But wait a second, it is not going to be an old, long, boring analysis. It is all about five factors which help India to win and create history in Australia and then New Zealand. So let's start our week. So let's start with the first factor. It is the biggest factor because it helped India to clinch the series and create the history. And it is none other than Indian Pacers. The trio of Mohammad Shami, Jasprit Bumrah and Ishan Sharma picked up 136 wickets in a calendar year of 2018 and create the history so that they break the record of West Indies great Michael Holding, Joel Gardner and Michael Marshall who picked 130 wickets in 1984 and it is a 34-year-old record which was broken by Indian Pacers and not only that, Indian Pacers ruled the overseas soil especially if we talk about England Australia and South Africa Indian ballers produces especially fast baller produces a resounding bowling performance and plundered the home side batting lineup now move on to the second factor and it is again Indian pace I'm talking about Mohammad Shami who revived his ODI cricket in 2019 and it looked like he booked his ticket for England in 2019 World Cup Mohammad Shami taken 14 wicket in 7 ODI matches. Mohammad Shami becomes the fastest Indian pacer to take 100 wickets in just 56 matches. Break the record of Irfan Pathan who get there in 59 matches. Now, talk about third factor. It is again very important because before Australian tour in England and South Africa, we had seen there is only one batsman in the name of Virat Kohli who takes the burden of Indian scoring in overseas tour. But this time around in Australia tour, it is not just about Virat Kohli. Many other batsmen, especially their biggest standout is Cheteshwar Pujara and Rishabh Pan, who scored runs heavily in Australia too. So first of all, I want to talk about Cheteshwar Pujara, who stroked 521 runs with an average of 74 and it includes 300. Second batsman, and it is not just about batsmen, he is a wicketkeeper batsman, Rishabh Pan who has scored more than 350 plus runs in Australian tour and become the first batsman to score a hundred, first wicketkeeper batsman to score a hundred in England and Australia. So these two are the standout performance for Indian batting lineup and they overshadow Virat Kohli because Virat Kohli for the first time he, got, he just scored below 300 runs. Now move on to fourth factor and it is all about Virat Kohli's smart captaincy. Virat Kohli impressed everyone with his team selection and his spot on field placement. Virat Kohli becomes the first Asian captain to win a Test Series in Australia. He retained the Border Gavaskar Trophy by winning a Test Series 2-1. Now let's talk about the fifth factor and it is the last factor of our video. And this video can't complete without taking a name of MS Dhoni, whose form was a question in 2018. But in 2019, he brings back the new charisma in his batting and brought back his form, especially in Australia ODI Series. When Omez Dhoni struck 242 runs in 6 ODI matches with an astonishing average of 121. And he doesn't stop there. In recently, the match against Australia in home series, he again scored 59 runs. So, it is a fourth consecutive half century for Omez Dhoni against Australia. So, he's most important factor for me in this whole video because we know that the World Cup is very near. So, we need Omez Dhoni in a good form for India to lift World Cup. So thanks for watching our video, if you like our video then press like button, share our video and subscribe our channel for more interesting video like this, thank you.